Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. I know it's been a couple weeks since I have put out a video, but I think once you see this video, you'll understand why it's taken a couple weeks to get this posted. So the week of Thanksgiving, we ended up rescuing three more horses. Um, what had happened was a lady had reached out to me from uh, Weatherford, Texas, and she had gotten my contact information from Jessica at Bowie, Texas Livestock because she was trying to rehome two of her draft horses that she had. Um, these are the videos that she sent me of the two horses that she needed to rehome. Zeus and Hercules are Belgian draft horses that were previously used to pull farm equipment and carriages on an Amish farm. They were partners in a working team, and to this day, they still move in unison. One is never far from the other, and they are a bonded pair. They needed to be rehomed together, and rehoming one draft horse is usually a challenge, but rehoming a bonded pair is even harder. They were originally rescued about a year and a half ago from Bowie, Texas Livestock. Oops. They are just so majestic. Good boy, Zeus! So I thought I had her taken care of and I had a family worked out for her. Uh, she was in contact with them. However, that family didn't work out at the last minute and we were back in square one trying to find a place for these two Belgian draft horses to go. So after telling Corey what had happened um, with the family not working out, uh, we talked about bringing them here to the farm and bringing them on as sanctuary horses to live out a retirement life here since they were in their teens. Um, we talked about it for a little while and I reached back out to the owner and said that we would take them here at the farm. So Weatherford's about a five hour drive and during that same week, Jessica from Bowie, Texas Livestock reached out to me again and said that there was another rescue group that had raised the funds to rescue a bunch of their horses that they had that were on the slaughter list. One of them happened to be a Belgian draft horse. So they had the funds already raised to take care of these horses. However, they needed a home for them to go to. Um, when Jessica reached out to me about these horses, I asked her to send me a video of the horses and this is what she sent me. This is going to be lot number 1296 with the Bowie, Texas Livestock. This is going to be a Sar Belgian mare. It's going to be 17 one. It's going to be 13 years. front of it. So that's that horse right there. She's with BowieTexasLifestock.com. Big, gentle, giant. Once again, her tag number is 1296. She's 13 years. She's 17 one. If you'd like to help her out. Hey guys, this is David Odewire with Bowie Livestock. This is going to be 13 head. So as everybody knows, Border Horse Slaughter Rescue works on our page a lot. She uh, tries to help a lot of these horses from actually going to slaughter. And um, these are 13 head right here that I had on my last call. They weren't purchased. She put half payment down. I'm after deleting them off my website. And she's after posting them on her Facebook page, Border Horse Slaughter Rescue. Now, if you want to help save these horses, her half payment holds them till next Tuesday. That's going to be it. Other than that, I'm still going to ship these horses. Uh, we've been holding them for two to three weeks um, with uh, her asking us to hold them, make sure that we don't send them. Uh, so that those a lot of those fees cover board. 
So I told Corey, I said, since you're already going down to Weatherford, I said, why don't you just stop by Bowie since it's only about 45 minutes away and pick up this girl as well. So much to my surprise, that actually worked and Corey stopped and picked her up from Bowie, Texas Slidestock on the way home as well. So that's how we ended up with three more draft horses. However, um, we weren't expecting everything that we got with the girl from Bowie, Texas Livestock. Um, in the video, it said that they, she had something in her eyes. They call them a chunk of meat. I don't, I don't know what that is, but um, they looked to me kind of um, like tumors. And when we got her home, we also found that she had a very big wound on her, the bottom of her leg, the same leg that was swollen in the video. So the next day after we got her home here, after we got everybody home here, uh, we took her to the vet right away. But these were the videos of Corey picking up the boys and bringing them home here to the farm. Since this was going to be a longer trip, I was not able to go with Corey to go pick up these horses. I was very upset that I wasn't able to go because I did want to go on this trip to pick up these horses. Um, but we did get a couple videos and these were Corey picking up the boys. Uh, that's Hercules and Zeus is already in the trailer. It was a fast stop at Bowie, Texas Livestock. Corey wanted to try to get home before it got dark, just to make it a little bit easier on the horses so they could see their new surroundings. However, that did not work out, but this was all three of the horses in the trailer on the way home when he stopped for fuel. He did send this to me because I was super excited to see all three horses and couldn't wait to get them here back to the farm. This is Aurora. That's what we decided to name the new girl. Corey did make it home safely with all three horses. However, he did not make it back before it got dark. There you go. She's a little gassy. Good girl. Where's she going? Are the gates open? Are the gates open? You're okay, Good girl. Good. See, he gets real nervous. Yeah. He's he's a really gentle boy. He's. Yeah. Where are we going?
It was hard to see that night, but Aurora had a very large wound on the bottom of her leg. The next day I was able to get some more pictures and it was bad. Aurora probably spent about a month at Bowie, Texas Livestock because they were trying to find her a home. We were kind of the last resort in finding her a place to go, so we're really glad that we were able to rescue her. She's super sweet, extremely underweight, but we are going to work on getting weight put on her and give her the best life that we can give her. And like all the other horses, she settled in quickly and found a place to do scratchies. The boys settled in well too that night. I smell amazing. Yeah, you smell amazing. Yes, you do. And I barely got any sleep all night long because I was worried about the horses coming into the farm when it was dark outside, not knowing where they were at. But this was the boys on the security camera. They do move in unison and it's pretty amazing to watch them together. We're eating some breakfast this morning. We ate all our hay last night. We made some pretty big piles of manure throughout the night. So those are all good signs. We're going to the vet today to get her leg checked, get some x-rays on that, get the wound taken care of, and have her eye looked at as well. So we'll have an update soon. You're a skinny girl. Yeah, need to get some weight on you, sweetheart. The boys arrived here and looked absolutely amazing and smelled wonderful. However, she was kind of a hot mess, so we did do brushies and got her groomed and all taken care of. I definitely think she enjoyed being brushed. Are you guys making friends? Are you making friends? I think the boys were a little bit in shock when they saw all the other Belgian draft horses here. Are they being nice to you? I know, tell them to be nice to you. Yeah. We kept the two new boys in the main run so they would be able to have contact with the other horses but not be able to interact with them really. So they were busy eating their hay and alfalfa and alpha pro and they were settling in well. Is that good stuff? Do you like it? It seems like it. Oh, good job, pal. Oh, do you like alpha pros? 
Oh, is that good? Yes, yummies. Liam came over to see who the new additions were. Aurora's vet appointment was at 3 o'clock, and I was not able to go to the vet with them because all the other horses needed to be fed. So Corey did take her to the vet and did not take any video, but this was an update on Aurora's appointment. But we did do blood work. We did x-rays of her leg. Uh, the blood work showed that she was clear and she did not have an infection. And the x-ray showed that she had a bone spur under where she had the wound. The wound is not from the bone spur, and we don't really know where the wound came from, but Dr. Wagner cleaned the wound up really well. We're taking care of that now to get that healed up. Dr. Wagner thought that the little chunks in her eyes were actually squamous cell carcinoma. If you followed along with our channel before, the first horse that we rescued was Lucky, and he had squamous cell carcinoma, um, which is a cancer that they, that draft horses can get in their eyes and it looked like the start of that so Dr. Wagner suggested that we get those removed as soon as possible um, to make sure that it didn't spread because it is a very fast spreading cancer in horses. We got Aurora home from her appointment. We also did do an ultrasound to make sure that she was having uh, the proper gut functions and everything else and also checked to make sure that she wasn't pregnant because it did look like she had milk in her sacs. But we got her home and then a couple days later we got her scheduled for her surgery because we didn't want to take too long on getting those tumors removed from her eyes. These little pieces in the corner of her eye is what we're talking about. Those are the tumors that Dr. Wagner was going to remove. She did have them in both eyes. I brought Aurora to MVP for her surgery. We did get a weight on her and she weighed 1,745 pounds. Yeah. Good girl, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Her surgery was scheduled for first thing in the morning, so I did drop her off the night before. I felt absolutely horrible leaving her there by herself, not knowing where she was at. I reminded her that I was going to be back and that she was going to be okay. Yes, you are. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? You be a good girl. I love you. Dr. Wagner was really happy with the outcome of the surgery and she thought her margins were really good and that they were clear. She did send those off to pathology and about a week later we did get those results back. Uh, her margins were clear, however we are going to do chemotherapy drops for about two weeks um, because it did come out to be squamous cell carcinoma and we just want to make sure that there's no lingering cells or anything that are still in her eyes because we want to make sure that that's, her eyes are completely clear. A forewarning, Aurora's eyes were a little bit bloody after surgery, but it needed to be this way because they needed to make sure that everything was draining properly and that she didn't have any blockages in her tear ducts. It broke my heart to see her in this condition, but she did have a nerve block in both eyes and she was also getting pain medication, so she was definitely not in pain and she was back to eating and drinking well. We also need to get some weight put onto this girl. She's very underweight. Even at 1,745 pounds, she's still underweight. So Dr. Wagner has us giving her a little bit of Alpha Pro every day, and then every couple days we're going to increase that so she gains weight slowly. Also, while she was sedated during surgery, they got her wound cleaned up a little bit more and really scrubbed that out. So we're going to continue to treat that and see if we can get it to heal. If not, we might be having a second surgery. You guys ready? Good girl. And a day later, we brought her home so she could be comfortable and recover. By the following day, her bleeding had stopped in her eyes and everything was starting to clear up. Her leg even looked a lot better when I changed the bandage. 
that Miss Aurora is doing well. We did start her chemo drops a couple days ago. Her eyes are looking so much better. She's alert. We had Dr. Hardy out as well to do some acupuncture on her back leg to help with that lymphatic drainage. We've used it on our other horse, Quinn, and it's actually worked wonders. So we're really hoping that it's going to help her as well. We're working on getting her back on the road to recovery and to a healthy weight, but she is doing well and uh, we'll keep you posted on how she's doing. And to add to the fun, we had two days of solid rain. Everything here is completely flooded and the horses were a complete mess. So it's been a little bit of a challenge these last couple days trying to get the horses fed and taken care of. All the runs were flooded and everything was just a complete mess around here. This is Zeus and Hercules. Hercules is laying down and Zeus is standing behind him. And everyone is a muddy mess, so you have to excuse the way we look. <laughs> Once this all dries out, everybody is getting groomed and taken care of. But the boys are doing well, and they're fitting in and uh, enjoying their retirement life. And they're just amazing horses, and um, obviously he's laying down, but he is a big horse, and I'm pretty sure about now that he is the biggest horse that we have here on the farm. But he's super sweet, super muddy, I know. I know, you're a mess. Yes, you are, sir. You rolled in the mud too, didn't you? Yeah, you did. I know, but that's okay. Yeah. I know, it's almost time for dinner. Are we gonna get up or are we just gonna take a nap all day? Nap. <laughs> Sorry, did I interrupt your nap? Yeah, I did. Okay, up we go. <laughs> oh, so sleepy. Yeah, you're a good boy. And I wanted to mention too, mention too um, within all this, you guys scared the heck out of me with Elias's video thinking that he wasn't gelded. Uh, we did have Elias's blood tested and he does not have testosterone in his system, so that means he is gelded and he is not a stallion. So thank you all for scaring the heck out of me, but we did make sure we got that checked and that he was gelded. And that's Sophie over there. She was also at the vet. We had some medical bills for her as well because she had a corneal abrasion. Sophie spent a couple days up at Claude Veterinary Hospital because she had a corneal abrasion, which is a scratch on her eye and needed to have medication put in it twice a day and I definitely could not do that by myself because Sophie's the one that does not like her face touched. So she was up there for a couple days but she is doing much better now. Um, so that's been taken care of. We had Elias's blood work done and then Freya had her uh, procedure on her head, well on her sinus. Can we show him her sinus? Thank you. Yeah. So she had a procedure, so she's got some staples in her head where they put the scope in um, to see if she had something going on in her sinus. Freya has had some discharge coming from her left nostril that doesn't smell too good, which indicates an infection. So Dr. Wagner is checking her teeth here to make sure that she didn't have an impacted tooth or something going on with a tooth pushing into her sinus. She also did an x-ray and didn't find anything on the x-ray, so they did drain her sinus. And the following day, they did a procedure where they put a scope in her sinus to see if there was anything in there. They didn't find anything in the scope, so we're just going to hope that this doesn't come back because this is the second time that she's had this happen to her sinus with this discharge coming out of her nose. So it happened once again back in August as well. So moving forward, she's going to be on an antibiotic for two weeks, and we're going to see how it goes from there. Um, but everyone is doing really well. Uh, besides these couple things and we're really hoping that this is the end of medical bills for a little while because this is definitely stuff that we were not not planning on having at the end of the year but all the horses are doing really well Charlie after his choke um, he hasn't had any more issues and we did turn him back out into the pasture um, to be with the rest of the horses and he hasn't had any problems uh, with eating pieces of grass or anything like that oh thank you Oh. We also had the farrier out here, and um, we finally did get Noah's hooves trimmed. So this is a little bit from when the farrier was here as well. Liam gets extra pampering when the farrier is here. Because of his arthritis in his joints, she usually does his trims while he's laying down. He's always really good for it, and this was the first time I was able to get a video. Yeah. 
Kimmy, our farrier, took these pictures after she finished his trim, and he just looked like a little teddy bear laying there taking his nap. Hercules barely fits in the stock. We got the two new guys trimmed up and got them all taken care of as well. Noah has been our problem child and we've had a hard time getting him into the stock. We finally got his hooves trimmed and he's looking so much better. He behaved long enough so we could get his hooves trimmed, but they aren't perfect, but they are much better. I won't bore you with everyone getting their hooves trimmed, but she does break this up into a couple sessions. She comes every six to eight weeks, depending on how much the horse's hooves actually grow. So we did Charlie and Freya, Dutch, Noah, Cammy, and Sophie on one day, and then she came back and did the rest of the horses another day. So it's just a lot of work and kind of hard on Kimmy's back to be bent over like this to do so many horses since there are now 22 horses on the farm. We were definitely not expecting to take on all these additional costs at the end of the year and it was definitely not in our budget to have the all the expenses for this surgery. Uh, we are going to do one more fundraiser for the end of the year um, to try to cover some of these fund to try to cover some of these medical bills and also our feed bill is astronomical now because we are feeding 440 pounds per day of alpha pearl so we are going through six pallets a month plus hay and alfalfa and everything else that they get fed um I do want to say thank you to everybody that has supported us over this entire year. None of this would be possible without you, and we really can't thank you enough for all of your support and generosity. Thank you to everybody also that has sent us gift from our Amazon wish list. Um, I did put a bunch of uh, medical supplies on there because we have to wrap Aurora's leg. Um, sometimes it's twice a day, depending on how messy she gets it from walking around. And also people that have sent us gifts through HF and C of feed because feed is the one thing that we always need around here. Um, if you did want to send us a gift of Alpha Pro, you can do that through HF and C and I'll put the phone number in the link in the description below. And also if you wanted to support this fundraiser um, for Aurora's medical bills, um, I'll put a link in the description below for that as well because this was definitely not in the budget. Um, but we're so glad that we rescued these horses and that they're safe and they're always going have a home here and they're always going to be taken care of. Thank you all so much for watching our videos and thank you again for all of your support. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday and we will definitely have some more updates coming but um, I hope you all understand with everything that happened with Aurora and the new boys. I hope you understand now why um, it's taken a little while to get a video out but again thank you all so much for watching and we truly appreciate your support. We'll see you soon. Bye!